Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to do a page in Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. It was requested to do a page in here by one of my wonderful subscribers. <laughs> she knows who she is. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> so what I'm going to do on um, this particular picture is I'm going to paint the background in black. Um, we're going to use the acrylic um, matte black paint. And this is just folk art that I've been using on all the pages in this particular book, along with some other books. But it's just a, a matte black acrylic paint. You could get any brand you like. I think this was like 89 cents at my Fred Meyer. That's my local grocery store. And I pick up that paint there. I'm going to be using um, my favorite brush. This is um, silver black velvet brush number four so it's a nice uh, fine tip here if you uh, don't particularly like uh, real hair brushes you can pick up any type of brush that has a sharp point on it like this because we have to do um, quite a few details in tiny areas here i am going to uh, do a little different with the rabbit's ears here i'm going to mention that when I start. I'm not crazy about how big this particular ear is, so I'm going to take off this last row here and paint all this black. I probably will leave uh, the rest of them the same, just so it looks like they have two instead of this guy have three. I know this one has um, three too. They're smaller, but I want the ears just to be a little bit more the same size type. I may add in a couple more little fluffs on this side just to make it stand up a little higher, but we will see when I get there. But I'm just going to paint those out. I'm going to paint out all the stars and all the dots. So I will be adding that in with a splatter paint. And there is a lot of painting to do here. So I will start it, but... Oh, I'll finish it off camera because it'll take me a couple hours and I know you do not want to be sitting here watching two hours of painting black background. It would be a little boring. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and I will, yeah, just paint out these guys. Okay, just so you can see how it's done. Anything else that you want to... Uh, paint out. You can. It's your coloring book. You can do whatever you feel um, you like to see or not see in the background. You do have to be a little careful here around the little fluffs of the rabbit or you can paint it straight down and add your own fluff when you are coloring. If we remember in this particular book, I am using Prismacolors and Prismacolors go nicely over the matte black paint. So any other lines that we want to put on the bunny rabbit, we can just draw right over the paint and do that. Now I'm using the um, paint straight out of the tube. I did add a tiny spray of water on it just to keep it moist because sitting out on my desk for a couple hours on a little sheet will dry it up. So if it gets a little dry, you just add a little tiny bit of water to it. and then it'll get moisture back into it. So while you're at this, if you decided you wanted, say, these to be a little bit of a feathering coming out, you can just make them a feather. So if you just wanted to make them a little shorter, you can do that too.
you do want to thin out these big piles so it just is flatter on your page. I think I will just go up and make these a little smaller than they are. Just going to round off those tips so they don't look so sharp. And remember your pencil work can change that look too. So then we just go in here and paint the rest of this. The bigger areas you can just go over and then when you get to your detailing you're going to have to take a little more time. So like I said I will do the rest of this off camera and get it all done. There are areas down in here that are going to have to be painted black and um, just kind of down in here a little bit. And I will do the bottom down here in black also. So we'll just paint in here under his feet anywhere there is um, background. So I will be back in a little bit when all of the background is painted. Okay guys, we are back and we've got the black background done. Just for your information, it did take two hours and 15 minutes for me to get all the little details done. And then I actually forgot to do this little piece here and I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I went in with the Posca pen which is an acrylic based product but you'll notice it has a shine here I'm going to try to get it to show you there we go the shine if you're looking at it this way you can't tell but it does have a glossier um, look on it so it's not going to bother me because I'm going to be doing a splattered background which mm, kind of looks like this and with the splattering you're not going to see any of the mistakes one of the reasons I do it, another it's to replace the little dots and stars that I've removed from the picture. The only other thing that I did, other than, uh, you know, bring these wings in a little bit, is I took a little tip off the top one up here because it stood up a little higher. You could probably see that when you were looking at the picture before I started filming this section. <laughs> Okay, so the other thing is we have to remember that in this particular book I use four colors all the time. So we have green, which we are going to color the leaves in with. We have a purple, which we're going to do some of these berries. We have a pink, which the other berries are going to get. And we have a blue, which our bunny is going to be. Okay and the little medallion thing that the rabbit is wearing will probably be uh, the pink color maybe with a little bit of purple i'm not sure about that yet but what we're going to do is i'm going to show you how i do um like the leaves and a set of berries and we're going to do the rabbit or bunny whichever you prefer 
and um, the medallion and the ribbon. Hopefully we can get this all done on this video. I'm not going to do all of the leaves or all of the berries, but I will do one berry set in um, the pink and one in the purple. Then I'll do a set of um, these kind of leaves, these kind of leaves and these kind of leaves. They're all going to be done basically the same, but they're just a little di different because I want them to have different tones of green, but I only have one, sec uh, one um, set of green pencils. I'll just be switching the way I color it. Okay, and then um, we'll do the work on the bunny wabbit. Okay, so here are my pencils. Get them all out. Get them all out. I just keep them in this nice little um, pouch so they stay separate from all of my other pencils. You'll notice that I did not uh, go all the way down here because these leaves are going to be uh, done in green and I thought it might look a little funny having the rabbit floating in black space. I left a, a little kind of curvature here and of course the rabbit's fur is going to be somewhere in here, I'm not sure. And then there is more ground here and I'm going to ink up the background here with um, some distress ink after I've colored it. And I can show you that after I get everything else done, hopefully. Didn't want to be doing a whole bunch of pictures here, or hours and hours on this. Our blue colors for the Wabbit are going to be the Indigo, which I am not finding. <laughs> it's supposed to be here. It's tiny. I have to dig. Okay. Indigo. And I believe this is blue slate. And then we have the light blue sky or skylight blue, which I'm not finding here either. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's really tiny. This book is eating up these particular <laughs> pencils. I'm going to have to order these on um, open stock or go see if I can find them up at my art store. So those are the colors for the, the rabbit. I'm going to leave those up there. The uh, berries are going to be done in the gray lavender, parma violet, and black grape. Okay, some of them. So I'm going to put those on that side. The other berries and maybe the medallion, not quite sure, are going to be done in the black raspberry and I have raspberry here with it. And where's my other really short one? We can do it with clay rose and or light peach. It depends on um, the shade I want in the berries. So I'm going to put those aside. And then our green tone is moss green, green ochre, and then we can switch in between the pale sage and the putty beige. So switching these two colors will make the leaves a little bit different. Okay, we'll put those on this side. Boom. Yep, we're all ready. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and... Um, like do a stock of leaves over here and then we'll do uh, two of the berries. Then I'll get the camera down. Hold on. All right, we're going to start on like these set and we're going to do those. Uh, we're going to start with the, I believe this is the moss green. They are getting really tiny. Moss green here. You'll notice that I did go over the line here a little bit with the black, but that's okay. We can just color right over it. And I'm going to start with a darkness here and go out. And I'm going to bring it down the stock here too in a couple of spots and see if there's any. No, well, there is no stock here. I'm going to make one because it should hit right about here. And 
put a little white there. And you probably wouldn't see it down there. Okay. Continue going up on this side. It's kind of dark or heavy pressure here just to get the dark on that side of it. There is really no light source or moon or anything on this page, so we're just going to go with some lightness coming down this direction. On these, we'll bring in the um, pale sage and just cover up the tip. So give these ones a nice light color. Okay, and then you go back in and darken any area up you want darker. We'll add a little of that up here in the stock too. Okay, so that's how I will do those. And I'm going to put a piece of plastic behind my page. Because I didn't when I was coloring another page and I had to erase a whole bunch of lines that were on the rabbit. So we're just going to stick one back there. Okay, so we just used uh, these two pens on that one. And we're going to use pencils, sorry. We're going to use uh, these two. So moss green and pale sage on these. This one is going to be the green ochre and the putty on these. So well, we'll just start up on the leaf here. Kind of the same. I'm just putting the one on the side here. These weren't fun to cut, uh, paint around, by the way. <laughs> If you didn't want to paint the background, you could have um, you could use the Posca pen, but I noticed it was shiny, so I don't know if you wanted to add extra fur to your bunny if it would cover it as nicely as the matte does on this. And we'll follow the little stem down. Okay, then we'll take in the Petty beige. Just kind of blend that around. the little thorns or bubbles that are on there. I'm going to go back in with the green ochre. And just go over the original lines and add some shadowing. So that's how we'll get that to look.
If you want to make it a little greener, you can add a little of the uh, moss green in there. Okay, so I'll do all of those like that, all of these like that, and then we'll go down here to the berry leaves. Um, like I'll do this one down here. You know. And we're going to go in with the moss green here. Do darker pressure down here, or heavier pressure down here so it's darker. And then come up here. And then just lightly color in that. And we'll pick one of the two, if either the putty or the light um, green. I think I'll go with the putty. We'll fill up the whole leaf with that. Then we'll go in with the green ochre. And darken up some areas. Kind of looks like this leaf has got a bump in it here, so I'm going to exaggerate that a little bit. Bring back in the moss green. And back in the putty just to blend everybody together. And we'll bring in a tiny bit of black to get it really dark down in here. Bring up the lines we colored over and we'll throw in some veins here. We can bring them down, bring them up. Okay, we'll do another section, just go over it the same way. Start off with the moss green. This is coming from the stem of this berry, I am assuming. Or another berry. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what these berries are. Okay, we got another one that kind of billows there, so we'll darken around this section. Bring in the green ochre. Back in with the putty. Back in with the mossy green.
and then this is the green ochre. Bringing the black again, right where the center of this is, just to darken it up. Get in some veins. go. And then some better ones up here. Okay, and that's how those will go. And then we'll do a berry. I'm going to go in with the purples first. And we see, I want to get two that are close together, so I'll do these up here. I'm going to take your dark, kind of go around, leave a little teeny space in between here. In here it's nice and dark. Because I'm round, hopefully. <laughs> okay, then we'll bring in a little of the Parma. And then the grayed lavender. And the gray lavender can go around the edge here. Okay, go back in with the black grape, just to darken that up a little bit. Okay, each one's going to be done that way. So we'll go around the edge here, darken it down here, press real firm down in the hole there and then just lighten your touch going up, Parma Violet over all of that and up a little bit higher. And then the great lavender into all that. Bring it up and bring it around. Back in with the black grape. Okay. So we just keep going around doing the same thing. She's put kind of a little line there where your shine is supposed to be, so keep that part that's the lightest. And opposite the darkest. And if you leave that little line there, the berry looks a little shiny. It's the only reason for it. <laughs> Okay, get the hint there. <laughs> before my our hand falls off here. We're going to do a red one up here. Okay, so basically the same thing. We're going to go in with the black 
raspberry here. Now, like I said, I had to decide if I wanted to make them bright red or if I want to dull them down a little bit. And I think I want to dull them down a little bit. So this is the um, clay rose. It's going to go in here. And then we'll bring in the light peach on the top and down the sides. Go back in with the black raspberry just to darken it up down here. So we'll do that on a couple of them. Oops, well, this will be the last one of these I do. <laughs> I just dropped the pencil on the floor. I had to pick it up so I can darken those a little bit, but <laughs> hold on. It's a tiny little thing. And darken these up. Okay, the uh, little green thing here is just going to be done with the same green as the leaves, so we'll put in a little of the green ochre at the tips of it. Then the moss green. And on these ones, we'll bring in the uh, pale sage just to brighten those up a little bit and make them stand out a little bit more from the leaves down below. Okay. All right. I'll get those done, and then we will work on the little bunny. So I'll be back after all of these little pieces are finished. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, we're back. And I've um, done the berries and the greenery here, but I haven't done all the little leaves just because I got tired of doing the greenery here. So I want to work on the bunny. So I'm going to um, wait to do all the rest of these type of leaves here till the end of the video. And I'm going to ink some of this down here since everything else is done in Prisma. I can ink in this area and then do the leaves to make it a little easier for me. And I was going to use one of the uh, new little tools that I got uh, at Christmas. These are the makeup um, brushes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick down here at the bottom so you can see how we're going to do that. I'm going to use uh, Shabby Shutter's Distress Ink, which is green. And we're going to see how this works. Um, this is just a medium, I mean, they don't have names or anything, but that's the size I'm going to use. I assume you just load this the same way you load everything else. I'm going to get a little scrap piece of paper here. Does it very lightly. There we go. A little more ink on that. And I'm just going to lightly, I'm trying to do this so you can see what I'm doing. I think I'm going to go over here in this corner so you can see this, right? Okay, I'm just going to kind of just go on here and go up where the greenery is. And then I'm going to take a peek at that. 
Oh, it tends to do really nicely here. I don't know if we're getting out all over the berries or not, but uh, the ground kind of goes over here. I know I painted that piece black, but we're going to pretend it's a shadow. <laughs> yeah, we are going to pretend that. Okay, and then since we have a foot here, I assume that the back of the bunny is just hiding under here. So I'm going to put green on this side. I'm going to use this piece of paper here to block this section of the page and just run that up there. Okay. We'll put a little of that in that leaf there and that leaf there too just so all our leaves are going to look the same. I think I want a little darker color in there so I'm going to find a darker green and I have uh, pine needles is what this one's called and we're going to use the same brush. Ooh, that's it's a kind of a bluish color. We're going to go real light here and just kind of brush that up from the bottom and from the side here. Okay, and up here. And that gives us a nicer green there at the bottom. Poof. Oh, that worked nicely. Let's see how much is left on the brush. So we have quite a bit. So if you are using these, which would be an easy way of adding um, ink in here, and it's very nice and even, you're not going to get any, um, like on these, you can sometimes get a half circle when you're rubbing this and you get too much ink on the pad. So I would recommend these for people who want to use Distress Ink and are having problems with those. It's a really nice, easy way of getting the ink on there. Yeah, I'll leave a link down below to um, Amazon where my subscriber had purchased those. If you get any ink on, say, like this berry over here, just take the little white uh, Prismacolor and go over the, where you got a little too much green in there. Um, I'm not sure if you can wipe it out on this one or not. You can wipe some of that out. Yep. Okay, so if you've got a little too much on a berry or whatever you can wipe some up that worked out well yeah highly recommend these these are a nice little tool cool <laughs> okay uh, I'm gonna go wash this off and then we'll come back and do the bunny rabbit okay here we are bunny rabbit we have the colors that we need I have a feeling I'm gonna have to um, use the light blue sparingly with the indigo, we're going to go in and we're going to mark out some areas here. I want to have um, some of this blue come up into this area up here from his nose. So I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm just going to map out some color here. We're going to put a little going up this way from his nose. We're going to have some color come down this way. Because we want to keep uh, kind of a little lighter nose here. So I'm just going to bring that down. I know this looks funny right now, so don't worry about that part. I can put a little here just to darken under his lip. Okay. All right. I don't know if I want to do a white chest or if I'm going to do all that blue. So we're going to have to work on his face and his ears up here first. 
Now I know that this is dark and we're going to go around this area with the indigo and heavy pressure. Kind of darken this up. I'm not going to really give him a whole lot of fur in this picture. You'll have some, but it's more of a shading on him. We'll bring out some lightness coming that way when we get there. Okay, so I'm going to darken that up a little bit more. Darken around his nose here. Okay. Bring that in towards his eye a little more. Bring in some of the slate blue here. Just kind of push it around in there and bring it out a little bit. Okay, we're going to bring in um, some black here. I'm going to take this line down and bring it over here. Just trying to blend that line we had going there out. Throw some fluff in there too. Okay, then we'll go back in with the indigo. Just go over those black lines. Okay. a little more black in there. I want to bring some of that darkness up to the eye. And then go back over it. Back over it with the uh, indigo. Okay. I mean, there's no way that this is going to look like a real bunny, but we're going to give him a cute little personality here. So we'll bring out a little black. What did I do with the black? Right down on this side of his eye. Okay, and up and around here. I'm going to kind of fluff it out here. Alright. Darken that back up. Okay. 
Okay, we'll get the um, slate blue. Bring it down. Then we're going to get the sky blue. Boy, I'm wondering if I can even use this too much. <laughs> He's way small. Okay. I'd like to get a fine tip on that, but I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can even get it to sharpen a little bit. No. Okay, you're going to have to hold on while I go through my other pencils and see if I have one of these colors in there. Okay, after searching for a while, I finally found my little sky blue light. Yay! It's, I mean, it's a big one. <laughs> I'm happy. Okay, I had to move these just a little bit closer to me. Because I'm going to do some flicking of this out into the black. Because we want to make him a little fluffy. So we'll just pull it out. And go along where he is fluffy. I think I need a sharper point than that. Here's I'm going to get into the danger zone. Just don't put much pressure on it. And we might need to bring some white here. But I'm going to make him a real fluffy bunny. So we'll get some of that fur going there. Out onto the black. Blend this up. Pull that down. Oh, and there's one other thing. This ear should be behind the other ear, so I'm going to darken that area right in here. Gonna bring some of this fluff up here. And just kind of stick that ear behind. Just a little detail like that, and you can push something behind there. I'm going to bring a little white in here. Okay. And we're going to pull some of that fluff up too. And we're going to pull some of that fluff out over here. And you may think it looks a little transparent, which it does, but that's okay because we're going to take um, some of our Posca pen or our Signo pen and we're going to add in some lines in there. Okay, I want to lighten that up a little bit. Just on that side. All right. Okay, um, what color do we have? Black in our hand. We're just going to pull some of this black line down a little further. And we'll pull some of this up. Go around his nosy. Get some of that up there, too. Okay. Back one with the indigo. He 
he may just be a fuzzy bunny. After all, I thought I could do it just coloring it, but I'm going to have to put hair on him. <laughs> okay. Now, just because it's going to bother me if I don't see an eye on this bunny, I'm going to color in his eye. So we're going to add a line here for the black of his eye. So I do want him to have a little color in his eye. close to brown on my desk that isn't bringing in brown. Go in with the little bit of black raspberry here. Mix it in with the black up there. Then we will bring in um, the clay rose. And just leave it white down here on the bottom. Okay. He's got his, let's see, I don't know if this, sometimes this pen doesn't work for me terribly well. can just look at him and how cute he is and go from here okay we'll just bring in all the blue colors and uh, I'll just keep working on it okay so we're gonna just kind of go a little further up here I've kind of noticed it's the video is running a little late. So this ear is going to be a little darker than the other ear. Okay. So we're just going to draw some straight lines on that. Go up. We're going to make it uh, fluff out like the other ones. Now I'm going to start on the edges of these and kind of bring them in. So kind of do a little dark here and then feather it in a little bit. Okay, just on the tips. Oh, my kitty cat's having a fit. <laughs> We're going to do basically the same thing on the other ear, but... We're going to do it a little lighter on the other side. Okay, and then we're going to darken these tips. And bring it down lightly to the center. Really dark if you can get the tips as dark as you can. Put a little more pressure on them. We might even add a little black in that. Okay, same with these. And then lightly bring it in. Okay, and then when we come in for the next, we'll just bring in the slate blue. Add some of that in there. And then we'll bring in the sky blue light. And just pull it all the way down to the next row here. So you're leaving the tips dark and then light underneath the next set. So light towards the center of his ear. And when we do this, we're going to pull some of that out. Just like we did around his face. Okay. 
going to add some white into that too. right up in here. And then back in with the indigo. Just go back in with the same colors. So the slate blue. Forgot to do those too. The sky blue light. Get all that blended in there. Okay, we'll bring a little black in there too, just on the tips, only on one side. Kind of bring it straight down like you're actually drawing a line there. Add that there. All right, back in with the indigo and blur the black line a bit. some fluff in here. So I get this nice and dark in this area and then just lighten it coming out and we're going to use the blue slate just on the side here. Then we'll go in with the Sky blue light. And then right up on the top there, we're going to just use white. go on that one. The other ear is going to be done the same way. So really no need for me to go and do it again. It's just the same except for a little lighter. Let's get this one a little darker here. Okay so we just do the tips the same way as the dark and bring it in. 
I'll just do a couple of these and then I'm going to have to uh, stop the video. Okay, I was going to do a couple of these, but the camera already stopped filming. Um, this is pretty long, so I'm going to have to stop it now. When we come back, I will do the rest of the bunny rabbit in part two. Um, I'll have the leaves already finished down here. So we'll be finishing the rabbit up himself, along with his little necklace piece and his ribbon and that and then we'll put splatters in on the background so that'll be on part two thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next part i hope you all have a wonderful day take care now bye now